activating codes for awakening. So this week is really about awakening and the awakening through crystals. And I have a few friends with me, obviously, and I will share one at a time. The first one that, if you know me long enough, is one of my favorites, of course. It's a beautiful Morganite together with a aquamarine. And that, in a way, is very special because it's actually also a lot the Aquarian energy and frequency. So when we work with that combination, we are really accessing the fifth, sixth, seven, eight, ninth, and even the tenth dimension very easily. The the aquamarine is also attuning us to the sonic, so the sonic music of the cosmos. And of course, the morganite is the higher love. So the higher love is a little bit like the higher self. It's not conditional or unconditional love. It is pure love. The suchi light that you may know, I don't have it on me right now, but in any case, the suchi light goes kind of in that direction, except of course that the morganite is much clearer. So there's a turquoise and the other side, the pinkish side is the morganite. I show you here, I don't leave the house without morganite, I sleep with it. So this is the morganite side, a very sweet, light, pinkish color. And as I said, this is a mix. So this particular mind, but all of them, when they come together, you're actually holding a light code in your hand that just starts to activate now. So I will do a little bit of activation with you today. And it takes us really into that rebirthing process that we are in. The awakening signs are really strong at the moment. And for many of us, it's so strong that we feel like, okay, I surrender. I, I understand this is my path. I'm awakening. I'll take the challenge. And the Morganite Aquamarine is a best body for this time. So I'm going to bring you a little bit of light language. And of course, we understand that in this physical human body, these energies that are coming through right now, they're often very, very strong. These energies are filled with light codes. And so you could have physical reactions that may take you even into a panic. So I'm not trying to frighten you. I'm just trying to help you understanding what help you understand what kind of power you are dealing with. Of course, so you are here with me, so I make sure that you are safe. But there are certain things that I would not recommend to do on your own at this moment if you are not familiar with these energies. So remember, the energies are there anyway. The way they vibrate is how you can vibrate. So the higher you vibrate, the more the energy expands. And the frequency is the way we can kind of measure it. It's the I want to say the rhythm. The vibration is more the song and the frequency is more the rhythm that we can actually also measure as you are aware into Hertz. So let's play a bit as I bring you the light codes that are coming through. There's also light temples associated with that. Many years ago, I brought down light temples almost in a physical sense. This is another time for that. And these light temples allow us to access these light codes. So I'm working here with our beautiful Moldavite and Aquamarine. And I'm bringing you a bridge of light to access these light codes, if you feel like that. Platori platori plala le lula nare. Platori 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 platori. Taramena yo Kalaro kalalo 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 Teramena ho Chakia manira toria mania toria mena nano Ahu
So if you wish, this is like a first contact. Let me know in the comments how you go about that and let's explore more of this magic of light codes and your awakening.